Hi Leo, welcome. This is going to be your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. If the messages don't resonate with you, you could check your Moon, Venus and Rising signs to see what else comes up for you. What's going on with Leo? Leo, love messages. We have made the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. We have children. Your love life has been affected by children. This could be... This could be actual children that you may have. Or this could be... Um, someone being childish. If it's your kids, it could be that your person... Like if you have kids with your person, it could be that... They are wanting to be around the kids you both share. So, you know, they would be like coming back and like messaging you and stuff like that. But it could just mean someone's childish behavior in this situation. We have worth waiting for. So I do see that there is some separation for some of you because we have make the effort and worth waiting for. So basically someone needs to step up um, in this connection. We have new love though new person has stirred your romantic feelings some of you may have some new love coming towards you even though you're separated from your person uh let's see what else the unseen too much is hidden from you receptivity allow yourself to receive allow yourself to give and we have a drift letting go allowing a higher force to take charge for a time so there's some things that you don't know in your connection this could be with someone from the past the person who you're separated from but i feel like when i when i see allow yourself to receive allow yourself to give it does kind of point me to the new love where some of you might still be connected to the person you're separated from but then it's it's like saying be open to new love just in case you know could be something better for you some of you who knows but also like letting go and just kind of waiting on divine timing and waiting to see how things unfold naturally so let's see what we have for you leo Oh boy, messages for Leo. What is coming for Leo? During February, we're still in February. What's coming for Leo? Just gonna change the shuffles. Leo, love life. What's coming for Leo? <laughs> I'm going to take that as the first card. So I can see that your person is emotionally distant here with the Eight of Cups. And while they're away, what, what am I hearing in my head right now? Um, something to... What? Mice will play... How does it go? Cat, cats will... Mice will play while the cat's away. Whatever, man. Basically, while they're away, you might have new love coming towards you. There might be someone trying to dip in the cookie jar, okay? That... I didn't mean for that to sound as bad as it did, but... You know, basically, kind of like you snooze, you lose. This person is distant. And some new love might creep in and, you know, come towards you. So why is this in reverse? <laughs> so we have the devil here. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. We also have the moon. This could be a, a Pisces. But, and we have Cancer here too. So I'm seeing that, as I said, your person is emotionally distant. They don't, you know, they don't like 
know how to really make this work i feel like they have this idea in their head they like while they're away right now they're thinking about it but they don't know that there's some new love coming towards you if they knew <laughs> they would run towards you a lot faster but they don't know so right now they're just kind of in their own world but they are thinking about this connection okay and they're seeing you as the moon so you're kind of a mystery to them they don't know what's going on with you how you feel you know this and that it's a total mystery to this person but they're kind of doing some kind of soul searching right now like emotionally we have the six of pentacles here and the eight of pentacles i'm seeing that maybe both of you are busy with your own lives currently but little do they know someone is that someone might come in and swoop your attention up okay someone might come in and take over because they've been so distant for some of you it could have been for a long time and time is ticking you know you're not going to stay single forever that type of thing some of you are having mixed feelings some of you are very cautious going forward maybe with the new person or even when you think about this person you feel like guarding yourself all right we have the nine of wands which also speaks of that you know knowing what could happen you've been here before so you take caution and it could be with both the new love and this person but you're seeing this person as a seven of wands so you see them as someone who shut you out you know shut you out kind of you know pushed you away we have this devil energy here this could be somewhat of a toxic situation especially with this card um on scene too much is hidden from you so there you go it's like it could be somewhat toxic like they they've gone away they've distanced themselves who knows what they're doing i'm not sure what's hidden from you yet maybe when i clarify it will come out but your outcome is judgment here as you can see the devil is in this judgment card as well so i feel like you i feel like you're going to be doing what's right for you what what's meant for you what your destiny is and if this new person kind of makes you feel better than that person i feel like you might really go for it you know and this person could really miss out why is the eight of cups here see knight of wands hermit yep could be a virgo that you're dealing with but you see we have again they've kind of they've distanced well not kind of they've totally distanced themselves even though they still see this connection as you know they still see you as the one they are with you know even if they're not there why is the page of pentacles here you see two of wands two of swords so they they don't have all the answers they don't really know how to make this work could be an aries that you're dealing with they i feel like they don't know what's going on with you and that's the thing as well they don't know what's going on with you they do want to reconnect three of cups but as long as they see you as the moon they're gonna be in this page of pentacles where they are hoping to reconnect thinking about reconnecting but because they don't know where you're at in your headspace or your emotions they feel like they cannot you know make a move the chariot chariot so there you go i knew that the six of pentacles was for you because some of you might have new love coming in where where the person from the past is no longer getting your attention someone else you know a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so they've kind of grabbed your attention or they will this new person queen of pentacles could be a taurus virgo capricorn 
coming towards you, but this person might make you feel more nurturing feelings, more, you know, more connected with them, the new person. However, some of you could be a mother to this person's kids, hence the children being here. Because the Queen of Pentacles is quite motherly as well. So, why is the moon here? The moon. Communication. Maybe you're not communicating with them anymore. Um, you might be focused on your goals as well. Maybe you've kind of shut down from this connection and are no longer contacting them. This could be why they are confused. Three of three of ones. They kind of kind of just waiting to see what happens because they don't know what's going on here. You know. Why is judgment here? Judgment. Seven of Wands again. Eight of Pentacles, the star. Could be an Aquarius. But I just see you kind of working on something. You're working on something. Could be working on yourself. It could be self-love. But I'm seeing that you are going to go based off of this person's actions. And so you might end up shutting them out in the end. This person over here who has distanced themselves for way too long. You might end up just doing you. You may, you may have put a lot of work into yourself. A lot of work into healing from this. And you don't want to mess that up. So some of you might... Give them a taste of their own medicine here. Let me see what we have here. Messages for Leo. A new romantic cycle. Be oh God! Look at how that Leo card landed. A new cycle. A new romantic cycle begins. So new moon in Libra. It could be a Libra coming towards you but again new love and a new love cycle begins someone's coming to snatch you up from this person they don't have a clue and look at that card just beautifully there i'm not even going to touch it confidence is your key to success and it's the new moon in leo so your, your lion has come to grace you <laughs> oh and here he is again don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Maybe you'll attract a, a Leo. I think Leo and Leo get along together. It's Aries and Aries that don't get along. Oh my gosh. I think you get along with fellow Leos. So if a Leo comes towards you, it shouldn't be too bad. But, well, it shouldn't be bad at all. <laughs> Adjustments are required. So that does speak of a new situation where it's like new. So something you're not used to. I'm, I'm definitely seeing someone coming in here. Someone's coming in and I'm, I'm so glad I'm seeing new love and not just the person from the past. Ugh. Um, let me clarify the new love card and see what's going on with the new love. Why is new love here? Judgment, oh my God. And look at it's right next to judgment, both side by side and judgment card speaks of what is meant to be it's an angel calling it's like this is destiny this is life path this is destiny i think that's the only word i should have said but yeah that's basically the new love is important right now for you we have the moon another card for new love could be a pisces for some of you three of swords you see you're gonna find yourself kind of juggling the two you know you, you know you're gonna find yourself not really it's not that you're choosing the person from the past it's just that they might suddenly come out of the they might suddenly come out of that hermit mode right when you're like with your new person and you're like what the hell why is this happening but 
this new love could be like a mystery to you it could come out of nowhere you could be totally clueless as to who it is right now unless you've already met this person and they're a pisces or one of any of these signs aries virgo Libra, libra leo aquarius capricorn but we have this three of swords and you know it's kind of like when, if this person comes back, they will feel this Three of Swords. They'll feel like, you know, someone has, like there's a third party that just came in and changed everything, you know? So, but I mean, you can't wait on this person forever. You can't put your life on hold. Plus there's things that you may not know about them that they could be doing, who knows? We do have the Three of Cups here. So I feel like you're just gonna be doing what's best for you and moving on should some new person come along who looks like a better fit for you. I feel like you'll just go for it. And it will be this person's loss, you know? I feel like they think they're gonna come back and you're gonna be there waiting. And that's kind of selfish, so. Yep, that's what I'm seeing for you. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot about these cards. <laughs> um, let's see, messages for Leo. Wait, we have wait twice, worth waiting for and wait, so, you know. Forgiveness, recovery. All right now some of you might make an effort with this person from the past i am just getting this i know that most of you are moving on to the new love and are happy with the new love some of you might actually or this person might actually try and make an effort because we do have this card we have forgiveness so i do see that some of you could forgive this person even if you don't take them back kind of like forgiving them to move so that you can move on but we have wait and meditation brings answers. So maybe meditate and like try to get some answers if you feel like you've been waiting too long for this new love to come in. Maybe meditate and try to connect with the divine, you know. So yeah, the signs that I'm seeing here, we have a lot of signs. Pisces, Aquarius, Pisces again, Leo, Leo, Libra, Cancer, Virgo, Aries, Capricorn. Those are the main signs that we have here. So it could be one of those signs could be coming towards you. One of those signs could be your person here who has distanced themselves. But I'm seeing that someone new is coming and things are going to change for you. You know, you're going to have a choice to make. I feel like most of you are, are excited. Most of you are, are excited for the new love and I feel like it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be worth waiting for so that's good news all right Leo um, these are the messages I have for you check your moon Venus and rising signs if you would like to know what else is coming leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and thank you so much for watching